<laughs> so, uh, Vicky, you want to yeah, catch yeah. Uh, Vina up on what oh, happened? Oh, yeah. Last time on D&D with PT server. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, I don't... Were you here when we found out more about the creatures that we were going to face? I forgot if you were there. I think you were, might have been there for that session. I don't know. You know, no, she's not. Oh, she wasn't. Okay, so we basically explored the rest of that, like, mansion that we were in, if you remember. We were in this, like, sketchy mansion by the mines. Yeah, so we finished exploring that mansion and sort of at the end we found these like letters and this like someone's scrap of a journal or something about these monsters that we'd be facing and they're called Melox, I think right yeah me and me yeah. I think yeah I can type it out if you want yeah and apparently they're kind of similar to that like shadow monster we fought in the firefly cellar it's like they're these shadowy figures that feed on fear and apparently they can turn other creatures into them and that's how they like proliferate or something and um basically they change you psychologically and get into your mind and your fears and like um it drives people crazy and then turns them into them <laughs> and they like the darkness and they tend to like um nesting underground and that's why they're probably like investing infested this mine thing this platinum mine and um so we decided to go into the mine as one does <laughs> <laughs> as one does <laughs> and so we started exploring around it a little bit and we um oh and also the monsters are really sensitive to light so we've been like carrying torches with us and we kind of started exploring a little bit and we like kind of ran into um, a situation where Max was rolled low and like, um, what's it called? Had some psychological damage or whatever. The um, monster manifested Max's sister's voice to like scream for help or something. So Max ran off towards it. But when we got there with the light, it scurried away, probably because it was afraid of the light. Um, so we decided to explore a little bit more. We went down to this very narrow cavern and we kind of heard behind us that it might have come back. So since we figured the light was going to just make it run away again, I decided to go alone with, together with um, one of the, I, I guess, NPC characters who chose Worsty. <laughs> her name is Safi. <laughs> I decided to go alone with her because I can... Um, my character can see in the dark because I have like because I'm a half elf and when I went back there I tried to fight it but it was hard to see and it um oh also we're in this part of the cave that has this really dark moss all over it and it's like for some reason the moss like gets rid of all sound too so like you can't hear people around you so we um branched off from the group but also tied ropes to ourselves so like if we needed help we would tug on the rope because they wouldn't be able to hear us if we called for them so um once we were encountering the monster and i kind of figured out like oh i don't think i can take this thing on my own um we pulled on the rope but then the monster like cut me from the rope and i almost fucking died <laughs> because the monster was like really really <laughs> close to like cat like snip snipping me with its claws or something and probably turning me into one of itself but I narrowly escaped back into that very narrow, like, hallway we were in in time. So that's where we're at. I almost became an ugly shadow monster. <laughs> I think that was it, right? Yeah, yeah. You hit all the all the really important bits. Especially your, your, your you know, as you could call it. Oh, damn, Tom's not here. You, I guess you could really call that a close shave, huh? <laughs> Oh my God. Thank you, Vita. I'm also very glad I didn't become a shadow monster. <laughs> but now we need to think of like how to trap them because the whole point, the whole reason we came here was because Clara is supposed to fill up prophecy and be no one <laughs> to feed all of these monsters or something. <laughs> but Clara doesn't have any way to, to feed I them. I have apparently. nothing. <laughs> so None we need to come up with a way to trap them. All right, that is my summary. 
And the funny thing is, for a whole week, the plan we figured out for is <laughs> the plan we figured out for is um light up the whole cave. <laughs> Yeah, I think we should like explore the rest of the cave and get the layout of it, and then come up with a way to set up a trap for them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <gasps> Max didn't didn't pin the map. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no, I pinned like Let me the see information can... about the Milox. You pinned the Let me map. See if I can no. hear better. Let me see if I can get you a picture of, of what you guys have kind of really explored so far. So that way you don't have to really worry about finding a map or like, you know, trying to piece it together. Because you guys have explored a good chunk of it so yeah. far. Yeah, I think we're probably going to need to like corner them in an area. Cause like when we defeated the one in Firefly Cellar, we just like smacked him with a giant stone. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe we need to do that again. <laughs> okay, so you technically have. I'm gonna put this here, but you've technically explored a little bit more. So Ooh. this on the left side, this that like tunnel that goes all the way to the edge of the photo that um on the left side you've actually that's the entrance and so the, there is a branching off uh tunnel below that the picture kind of cuts off at um but you've already explored that one it came to a dead end yeah yeah so these like areas south that are to the like to the right of it that are hanging off that like one main tunnel um, those are all kind of where you are right now. Where are we? I do kind of remember. <laughs> so are we in that little got... narrow area, right? So yeah, um, let me actually just highlight where you guys are. And that way, like, <laughs> you can Even see it. That, I have no idea where I'm at. Yeah. Okay, I put, I, <laughs> I mean, here's the picture again. I put a little yellow where you guys are in that, that narrow part of that, that tunnel. P yellow. Yeah. P yellow. <laughs> sure. 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 All right. So, do we catch up with the rest of the crew? Yeah. Oh, you guys. You guys have caught up with the rest of the group. Yes. Okay. All right. So, do we like, the go tunnel? out and get more torch or something? Yeah, maybe we need to get more supplies before coming back in here. <laughs> uh, get more torch, get more yeah. like... Maybe, uh, we, maybe we should see what's in town too, like what else could help us. I feel like we don't really have enough to defeat them right now. Yeah. Okay, we, we got a little bit of the lay of the land and we need to go back out now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, as you guys are starting to head out, like Safi kind of, you know, puts her feet down. Um, because she's like, wait, where are you guys going? Oh, oh. I think, we're... as you saw, we're not really equipped to take care of these things yeah. right now. I think we need to come up with a plan of how to corner them. So you're just going to leave, like, leave them here? It's not going anywhere, don't worry. It's daylight outside. It's not going out. She kind of looks around and she looks at you. And she says, when are we, when are you guys planning on coming back? Uh, do you have a better plan? Uh, she like, <laughs> her, her face gets a little bit red at that. And she's like, well, no, but like, I, I don't, like, I don't feel comfortable just letting these creatures like be here on like watched. What if they try and get into town? Fair point. But I, mm. but I don't know how to take care of them right now. How about this? How about this? Me and you, Safi, will stay at the cave. Um, not cave. At the, at the front of the cave. The the hole there. And to okay. stay guard, the rest of the team will go get the stuff. Is that okay? He takes a deep breath. She's like. 
you really want to sit for hours on end to stake out the entrance of a cave with me. I don't mind. She bites. <laughs> <laughs> she watches you for a long time, Cho or Clara, and then eventually she sighs and she goes, whatever. Okay, fine. Let's do that. All right. I have a feeling that's going to go for <laughs> Because I think I have um, too much in my inventory and the dungeon master is going to struggle me one day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like, no, so. You can't fucking have that spider leg choke! <laughs> no, I'm going to take the spider leg! <laughs> 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 so, um, you guys make your way then out of the platinum mines. Um, at the entrance, you guys notice you have been in there for quite a handful of hours. And I would say it's like mid to late afternoon by the time that you guys have emerged from the mine. That long? Um, oh. Yeah, well, cause you guys were at the mansion this morning. Oh, Left yeah. at dawn, we're at the mansion this morning, <laughs> which delayed your, laid your ex excursions hey, a little bit. we got some important info. <laughs> information. Yeah. You did get some information. Um. And so, yeah, now you're at the, like, mouth of the cave when it's almost, like, you know, dinner time for the village. Um, and Safi looks at Clara as you guys have emerged, and she's like, all right, so when can we expect you guys to come back then? Yeah, I have a feeling once it hits nighttime, like these things are definitely gonna try to escape. So we need to come back before then, at the very least. Okay, uh, we could because just if like you're trying to do it during the cave run. The moment it comes up, blah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> the way you said that was really. <laughs> I don't know. But the only thing that we know is that their weakness is like the light or something like that. Yeah. We don't know anything else about them. We don't have anything I really, to like bright We don't light. know any other way to defeat them. Hmm. When did you pray to Athena or something? Did you ask her about these things? No. <laughs> <laughs> you heard my prayers together, you want to forget? <laughs> I'm shaking you right now. Aren't you the chosen one? Should you have something to defeat them? Get empty. I don't understand. Maybe you, okay. you go take the supplies and I'll pray to Tina see if she comes to my dream or something. Okay, I'll go get. So I'm basically getting a whole shit ton of torches and stuff so they can light up torches, as much. The, how do you say? The oil, some fire. To uh, blow it up. Uh, uh, <laughs> to blow this place uh, up. Some, some bomb. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I'll, I guess I'll go after and get supplies then with Vina. And yeah. take. Should we leave anybody else with you? Maybe Valor should stay with you. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. To make sure we don't fight, okay? <laughs> you needed some mediator there. <laughs> <laughs> Valor, like, she she walks over to, like, kind of stand between them. Uh, like, Safi, like, rolls her eyes and gives, like, both kind of Valor and Clara the cold shoulder. <laughs> she just crosses her arms over her chest. Valor looks at Clara and shrugs. <laughs> All right, so I guess, are you gonna go with us first or go see what happens to them first? Oh, you're gonna go with us and then uh, gonna pray or something, Chrissy? Sorry, say that again? No. Uh, what, which, which perspective are we gonna head to oh, now? Yeah. Which one you first? Let's do uh, the town first. Of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Vicky Potion and then... Potion Stella. Yeah, Potion, Potion Stella. Stella. I'm going into battle. Potion Stella. I need Stella. only your strongest potion. I'm going potions. into battle. And I need your strongest potions. You, you get... You get out of my potions. 
Um, Vina, I imagine you're also going with Vicky as well into town to get more supplies or to see what you guys can do. Um, where exactly in town would you like to go? Let me, wait, did we not pin the town as well? <laughs> Pretty what? I think there was a town map, but I don't think we pinned that either. I'm oh, seeing if I can find that. I think I have to do. Do you have the town map? Yeah. Where is it? I was going to say you gave it to me, so hopefully you do. <laughs> if not, I can easily pull it back up. Yeah, I'm searching right now. I have so many pictures. <laughs> Some of these pictures are so funny. <laughs> Hell yeah. You got yeah. it? Hell yeah! Woo! Okay, it's loading for me. Okay, okay, I got it. Um, I guess they're going to store slash in slash etc. <laughs> the store slash in slash etc, you know? Um, yeah. Great, so you guys head in there. Um, the, so that entire part of town is, you know, divided up into different buildings. There's a general store, um, like it says, there's an inn. You haven't stayed there because you were staying with, um, Cho's parents, mm -hmm. um, last night, but... Slumber party. You can see that it's there. <laughs> Slumber party. Uh, where exactly would you like to go first? Um, oh, there's a potion seller like we established last time. <laughs> oh, well, I guess even he won't sell us his strongest potions. <laughs> Your strongest potions. Well, so I guess I'll try to look for a store that'll have torches and supplies and stuff like that. Yeah, you can definitely find one of those. Um, the general store will mostly have all of your um, torches and stuff that you need. Um, the human that stands behind the counter um, kind of looks like he's going to have like a gruff voice um, when he speaks to you or when, like when you when he lifts his head you can tell he seems like a withered and chiseled kind of man like he's seen it he's seen shit <laughs> he's seen shit <laughs> he's seen shit um, and you know now he runs this this you know general store um so he definitely has a certain amount of torches for sale let me see I'm pulling up the the price of them right now. Nice. I don't. Do you think that they have gasoline in this world? <laughs> uh, Probably not. That's right? an excellent question. Hang on. I'm looking at <laughs> trade explosives. Right what times are have we? They mastered, there have is, they mastered? Now, there the art are of... such things as I bet explosives because there's such thing as like um, yeah gunpowder and things Ooh, like gun that. Oh, gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> Are we even sure that blowing these up would actually kill them? Because I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky remains unconvinced. I am convinced. Okay. But, okay. All right. Where is the... I'm sorry, I'm looking for the... For the... Like, torches. Oh, it's right in front of me. Okay, a torch. Oh, you're you are so in luck. A torch is like only one copper piece. Copper oh. piece, y'all. Yeah. Bro, I got you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many copper pieces is in a gold piece? Uh, if I remember right, nah. it's actually like there's, and I can I can look this up just to verify. So I'm not speaking out my ass. Or Vina could correct me if Vina remembers better. <laughs> If I remember right, it's actually 10 copper pieces in one silver piece, and then there's 10 silver pieces in one gold piece. Holy shit. If I remember right, yeah. Oh my god, I could buy so many torches, guys. <laughs> Holy you spend shit. all of, you, you pull you pull a um a zinnia and get like 500 torches because with one gold coin i could get like what a hundred yeah with one gold one gold coin you could get one holy torches. shit how, how many how many does he have in stock probably not a hundred <laughs> damn let me actually just roll a dice really quick help, help. figure that out <laughs> Oh, 
We'll say he's got he's got seven. <laughs> seven? I mean, he is at a general store. Do you have like fifty torches That's at your fair. general store? <laughs> I mean, Home Depot. <laughs> it's a concerning amount. All right. I guess I'll take all of his torches then. Okay. So seven we, I, torches. Seven. I had I technically had ten. I guess we probably used one in there while we were running around. So I have like what sixteen? I don't, I don't know if that's enough. <laughs> um, does A he lot have? More than other people have. <laughs> I guess that's true. Does he have any like explosives? Um, he kind of looks at you funny when you ask about explosives, <laughs> cause he's like, "Now what are you planning on doing with that?" Hmm. You know the mines that are by here? No, 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 no. Yeah. You're no, not no, no, thinking no, no. about Vin opening Vin up Vin Vin again, Vin are you? Venus. Yeah? Just say Clara. <laughs> <laughs> Clara, the great savior. He Clara. Goes, all right, all right, say, say the no chosen one. She's always had a thing for arson, huh? The chosen one of Athena <laughs> <laughs> is in need of these explosives. Uh huh. That's that, that what she's been telling you, huh? The chosen one <laughs> who will bring salvation to us all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't give you this. <laughs> Just if anybody asks, it wasn't me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, she kind knows. sir. Do you know right. anything about the mines over there? He clears his throat. He, he goes, all I know is that a long time ago, they were shut down. Before this town even was built, I think they, they were shut down. It was a long, mm -hmm. long time ago. Nobody's been, you know, it's one of the things we tell the kids, stay away from the mines, because we don't know what's in there. The stories that have been told since then, everybody's got a different version of it. I see. Okay. I guess. Is there anything else we need, Cho? Hmm. Do you get gunpowder? Uh, <laughs> he gave I'm me explosives. The, I'm getting the <laughs> explosives right, like that information for you right now. So I can tell you, like, how much it costs. <laughs> Just the. <a>, um, <laughs> okay. We can like stack the torches to the cave like like Minecraft. Wait, say it again? Like, like we can put we can stick the torches to the cave to light up the area. So we don't um, have to take around. I mean if then it's pro you probably you'd have to prop it up though, because there's not like um especially in the the parts where there's um that black moss that's surrounding, you know, all of the walls and the ceiling mm -hmm. and everything. That those areas where the black moss is, there's not like any like brace on the side that has like that is for a torch, because um, that's not original. It wasn't not part of the original mine. Can we create mm -hmm. one like we we broke a part of the wall? <laughs> <laughs> How do um, we? I, I mean, you can look at what you what you can do and what you have available to you. Yeah, what do I have in my thingies? Uh, um, I have one iron pot. <laughs> I have a fork. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what Zinnia has. Zinnia had. Um. Oh, these are pretty expensive. <laughs> oh, are they? Explosives are expensive. What kind of explosives are you wanting? You know, like explosion. I'm not a... <laughs> like dynamite? Da dynamite. Uh... So. We can light it up like it's dynamite. <laughs> okay, this doesn't have the. Okay, there's just a bomb. Um, just a bomb. Just a bomb. <laughs> I say just a bomb. Okay, it okay. costs a bomb. 
costs 150 gold pieces. Oh shit, I do oh, have that. Shit. I have a lot of golds, but I can afford it. But you gotta pay me back. <laughs> I will, I will, I will, I will. You owe me 150 gold coins. I will. <laughs> okay, I'm subtracting that from my inventory. <laughs> And then write down, bomb. <laughs> bomb. That, that the guy at the general store definitely didn't sell you. It was somebody else. Mm-hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. Yeah. do you have a bomb in your <laughs> Hey, it benefits us, so let's not Every ask questions. <laughs> Everybody needs to, you know, to sleep at night. Mine is having bombs ready. <laughs> I'm oh, I'm Maxi. I only have 93 coins. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I have a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Max. We're just preparing bombs. Um, nothing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nothing. Nothing to worry about. Nothing, nothing to, to concern about. yourself with. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Okay, um, anything else you think we'll need? Oh, how are we gonna prop up the... Do you have, like, like, you know, Bath and Body Works has those candle holder things Oh, no, buy? no, no, no. <laughs> now I think about it, we don't really have the torch. We just, like, spray the oil everywhere, then light it up. Light it up. We need oil, then. He didn't light give me oil. He gave me one bomb. bomb. Oh, we can Do use the you have oil, bomb, sir? Too to kill it, but we can oil to like light up the way. We don't really use the... He does have flasks of oil. All right. They are How flasks, much are those? though. So like, think about like cooking oil, like uh, I think that's oil size be. container. Uh, you just want to light it up with your tinder box and leave a trail of fire? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like leave, leave a trail because uh, all we need is not the fire, it's is the, the light the bright light you know i guess so okay sure <laughs> how much are those if, if, those, if you can't uh, get those uh you can i think you can get them at my house oh what no sorry a flask of a flask of oil is one silver piece ah, ah. And he has four? Yes. <laughs> okay. I guess we're okay. buying all of those too. <laughs> okay. Stalking. All right. Should I, I, can I go so, back so and talk to the elder to be yeah. like, hey, do you have any like clues or anything of what we should do? <laughs> yeah, sure. Go ask the old yeah, man. Yeah, you sure can talk to him if you want. All right, let's go talk to him. Okay. Do you need oh, anything man. else, Chubb, before, before I go? Okay. I think you're okay. Okay, let's go to the old man. Yo, okay. I'm really trust, trusting my plan, huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't got anything better, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys head over to um, Theo, who uh, works uh, at the church, uh, the elder at the church. Um, when you guys uh, walk in, he is like getting things ready to kind of, you know, close down the church for the day. There's not like there's any ser services or anything that's left. Um, so they're just like cleaning up, going through like the end of day kind of routine at the church. Um, and so when you guys walk in, he lifts his head and he, he frowns at you and he's like, um, I I thought you were helping our, our chosen one as she was trying to uh, fulfill her destiny. How? How? Indeed what we're doing right now. But we came back to have a few questions for you. <laughs> uh, well, all right. Is this, she's, uh, I mean, she's all, all right, isn't she? I mean, no. I know I can be harsh sometimes, but I, I do, I do, in fact, 
care about her well-being. Aww. <laughs> She's doing well. We, you know, took a little lay of the land, so to speak, and the monsters in there are, you know, difficult. <laughs> so I was wondering if you knew anything more about the mines up there, the monsters, or like the whatever prophecy that like chose Clara. Is there any like power she's supposed to awaken to help her or anything like that? He, um, like thinks about it, um, and about like you know things, try, trying to you know rack his head for things that he hasn't already, you know, told you or talked to you about, um. But he, uh, he clears his throat and he says, if I am allowed to be completely honest with you, he says, um, I am faithful. I have no doubt in Athena and her, uh, um, I've worshiped Athena, you know, for, and served her for many, many years for all my life. Uh, of course I do not, I do not doubt her, he says, um, but he says, I do think, though, that there is a little bit, I've always had the feeling that there is a little bit more to this, uh, this, this prophecy and the reason why it is Clara who, who must do this. Um, but I, I can't say I know why. I just have always the feeling that there is, there's more to it than we know. Cryptic old people hints. <laughs> <laughs> I see. That's all he's gonna give me, huh? He goes, it's, it's all that I, Ask about all the that I know. Ask about the mean locks. Oh yeah, have you ever heard of a me lock before? Uh, he thinks about that and he, he nods. Um, he goes, actually, I, I have heard of them before. Um, is that what, is that those creatures that are in the mines? I imagine that's why you're asking me about them. Yes, in fact, we checked out the mansion nearby and they mentioned that their, um, you know, their family was driven out by these monsters and so were the miners. Do you know anything about them? Fear incarnate, he says. <laughs> that's, that's, what, you know, that's the first thing. Whenever you hear about mean locks, is that they are fear incarnate. You know, they're, they're, the reason that they exist is because of fear. When there is a great um, feeling of fear in an area, they are drawn to that location. Um, you know, mm -hmm. he says. Um, so, <clears throat> in our case, a prophecy leading to certain doom, of course, would be a source of fear for our village, has been a source of fear for our village. Um, I see. Huh. He says, oh, but wait, I, wait, wait. I do know. Oh, How about we uh, prepare a ceremony like for one night, a ceremony for everyone to gather in the plaza and have them to like pray for Tina so they don't feel fear? Uh, oh. I don't, I don't know if that would get rid of the monsters, so to speak, though. It won't get rid of the monster, but it won't... But it'll just the keep village. them away from the village? Yes. yes. Just one night. Mm. Have them all gather in the plaza and pray. It's a really just village. Uh -huh. I mean, Clara is not here right now. Uh, yeah, I was thinking to the neuron <laughs> link to, to be <laughs> just fine. Yeah, you're gonna telepathy this to me right now. You're gonna make that telepathy into my brain. <laughs> like, ah, oh, I sense something in the wind. Oh, this is just like Frozen 2. You know in Frozen 2 when Elsa dies in like that? When Elsa freezes in that like iceberg and then she like sends some telepathic message. And then like Anna, Anna, she gets like the figure of like her grandfather killing the other guy or some shit she's like, oh yes, yes. i know what i need to do now yes, yes. <laughs> imagine that right now <laughs> tell me the plan tell me the plan <laughs> yeah yeah so i guess I, I i ask him if that seems like it may work or not the whole the prayer thing mm -hmm. he thinks about it um and he says 
I I cannot say I know of, of, of anyone doing that in the past, but perhaps it it may very well help. It may, if if these things thrive off of fear, then for their source of fear to be without fear may in fact weaken them. Gather everyone round. It's church night tonight. Church night. <laughs> <laughs> Party at the church, y'all. <laughs> we got fish and bread. Oh. And bring your water, wink, wink. <laughs> Fruit juice, wink, wink. Right? <laughs> like, like in, like in Delta Rune when he's like the fruit juice. I wink. Want the fruit juice, sir. Wink, wonk. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If you can gather everyone, I guess here and try to pray to Athena to rid yourself of the fear and the negative, whatever-ness. Savior Clara will save the day, and you have nothing to fear. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> um. He nods. He says, "I well, we'll see what we can do." And he um says, well, I'll, I'll have our, my people get right on it to, to gather everyone here. Um, if you truly believe that will help you, mm -hmm. I believe that we can pull together for that. Great. The other thing is that uh, we're a little bit concerned that at night these things might escape the mines, so make sure everybody stays safe tonight, please. <laughs> he nods. He goes, yes. <clears throat> I... I was hoping to have this, this this problem quelled before nightfall, but we will see. It may be it may be safer for everyone to be here in the church. Um, <laughs> you guys have guards here and such, or the power of Athena going to keep you safe? <laughs> he says, "Oh, you know, we have uh, paladins, like like most other um, places that worship Athena." So we we, we, we have uh, warriors that that will stand and help the the lay townspeople. All right, they are they they do tend to dislike light. So if you can keep the area around the church well lit, they shouldn't bother you. As I do remember hearing that myself about their sensitivity to light. Yeah. So yeah, maybe yeah. you know. Bringing everybody into one area with a lot of light will prevent anyone from getting too hurt. Really In the meantime, party night. Party night. it's going to be a party, a praying party. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going to I'll go back to <laughs> <laughs> make sure there's olives for the dungeon master. <laughs> <laughs> please, 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 please have olives on the pizza for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are going to head back to aid your savior. <laughs> he says, uh, keep, keep, keep her safe. It's all that we can ask. Of course. Oh, and make sure she doesn't burn the whole town down. Thank you. Um, <laughs> that one I can't guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> holding, holding oil, firework, gunpowder. Ah, uh, that I can't guarantee. Yeah, I hide all that stuff behind my back real quick. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, Vicky, like Venus, is carrying all these like stuff to clearly commit arson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah, be going hide, hide back. back. <laughs> Bye. All right. I guess that's all we had to do in town. So while you guys have been doing that, um, we will cut to uh, Safi Valor and Clara. Um. Clara, uh, as you are getting, you know, ready to contact or pray to Athena, um, Safi, you can definitely, like, feel the evil eye that Safi's giving you from afar. Um, <laughs> Valor, who has, like, not really seen you do this before, is just kind of, you know, leaning back and watching. Um, how do you, how do you reach out to Athena? How do you approach her? Mm, I find that a place a big clean and you know lit some candles I guess and an incest okay. and start praying I guess okay um how what what's your prayer to her what are you asking um to see like if 
she um, could give some so advice. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Vicky? Give me a sign. <laughs> Hit me, baby, baby one more time. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um. Uh. So you uh reach out. You you start praying. Um. And this is this is not the first time that you have been to you know that you've prayed to her and been able to speak with her. Um, this time, like it has before, you're taken to the same like kind of space um, where it's you know very all marble. There's all that architecture and all that imagery of of wartime and um, and weapons that are built into the architecture around you. Um, in this very strange kind of headspace area. Um, headspace. 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 <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> and um, uh, this time when Athena, you know, manifests before you, uh, you hear her before you see her, because she definitely asks, so, no nachos this time, huh? <laughs> Do I look like I have prepared? I'm desperate. <laughs> <laughs> she she nods a little bit and so she she scratches an arm um and she says yeah um it's it's a tough one isn't it yeah <laughs> she says i um look i'm really sorry about this that you have to face these guys this isn't she like looks around a little bit. She goes, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't tell you this. Um, but this isn't totally my fault that this is happening. I know, I know. Oh. She says, You you know about uh <clears throat> Well, you know about that. Well, what? But like it's not your fault, but I'm coming here to ask, ask your advice. That have you battled this thing before? Have you like ex experienced advice or something? She takes a deep breath and she says, uh, "Mean locks aren't unique to this situation." She goes, "There, uh, they have been. I've had many warriors fight mean locks before. Um, you know, it's it's a." Uh, Mean locks are creatures that often appear in all of the folk tales when they talk about, you know, the importance of courage and fighting against fear because they are creatures that feed on fear. So they're so, it's, it's, it's not like they're never heard of before. It just takes a lot of fear for one to appear. Um, she says, so this, the fear that's been building with the prophecy has of course manifested a handful here. Mm. She says, um, the only thing that I can tell you is, you know, she says, think bright, she says. Bright. <laughs> Claire has definitely been thinking bright. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Explosive. <laughs> She says, really? <laughs> she says, they are very sensitive to light. She says, ah, if you, I, if I you... get the sense of why Clara is chosen. It's because she likes our scene. <laughs> <laughs> hand in hand. <laughs> um, but she says, when it's in light, it's, think of it like it's half blind. It can't really see all that well. Mm. Huh? Huh. Like a mole. So it's... So... Maybe if we do light up the entire area, then they'll have no choice. My plan <laughs> actually work. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, there's a reason I chose you as my chosen one. Awesome. Because you like our <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't the nachos after all. <laughs> Alright. I mean, the nachos are a nice bonus. That's she true. true. <laughs> That is fair. All right, we're on our way back. Okay. Anything else to ask her about? I don't know. Mm, no. We she says before you go, one more thing. 
Um, and she kind of reaches forward for you, Clara, and she takes your hands. Um, and she gives them a really big old little squeeze. Uh -huh. And she says, if you ever, like, I know it might get hard during this fight, if you feel like you start to get afraid, if you feel like you're not sure if you can do this, she says, don't be afraid to call out to me. She says, don't be afraid to, for she says, don't forget that you can channel divinity. And then you wake up. I'm at that level of oh, channel divinity. You've been at the level of channel divinity. What? <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God, Show. I swear to God. I, this whole time, I've been like, there must be something that Cho can do that she forgot that she could do. <laughs> you, at, at, at level two, you can start channeling divinity. I oh just my God. Up. I can. Uh, we're at level four or something, aren't we? Oh my god. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> I was like, this whole time I was like, there is no way that Cho doesn't have something to use. <laughs> That's so freaking funny. Your domain, Cho. What was that again? Your domain? War? It was the war domain, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just making sure. You have a lot that you can do. I do. <laughs> I don't have anything. There's nothing I can do. Just blow them up. And I'm like, really? This is your, this is your story arc. Bro, I'm gonna do day. That is so funny. <laughs> that is so funny. I'm like, there's no way that there's the chosen have something to you. That's so freaking funny. <laughs> All right. At least now we know. All right. Did, so Cho wakes up. Anything else yep. happen? Uh, not really. Safi like looks at Clara. Um, she was glaring earlier, but once Clara like got into like the prayer and started actually communicating with Athena, you could tell Safi was watching actually with like like Ernest just to like because she hasn't seen ever Clara actually like communicate with Athena. Um so seeing her actually like get into the prayer um and like do it, some like Safi doesn't say anything, but her demeanor has changed uh, just a little bit and softened. Aw she said Sunday <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Sure. Um, by this time, um, you guys, the rest of the party, has arrived with uh, torches and oil and a bomb. <laughs> and one bomb. <laughs> and one bomb. <gasps> and and a bomb? Uh, <laughs> it's what you've always dreamed of. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, we're not gonna use it unless we have to, Clara. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, so let's okay. go back in there, I guess, and start lighting up the way. Okay. Um, just to give you guys, like, a, a, a thing on, on in-game game time. Uh, by the time that you guys get back, you can tell that the sun is starting to set. Oh, shit. Ooh. So daylight hours are waning. Ooh. Oh, then we need to make sure they don't get out. Because <laughs> mm. once um, they get out, it'll be hard to find them. That being said, Valor is like, would you like me to stand guard at the entrance? Yeah, I'm yeah. okay with that. Maybe, maybe someone should stay with you, like Max, because technically Max is with <laughs> us, but like not with us. <laughs> so while Max isn't here to, you know, say we can't. Yeah, I guess yeah. We'll have uh, we'll have <laughs> oh Oshi and Dollar stand guard at the entrance. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Kitty face emoji. Vicky. I just feel like it emoji. wouldn't be good to leave Valor on her own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a perfect chance. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. Wink, wonk. Wink, wonk. 
Wink, Joe wink. can be there too if you guys want. Because oh, no, 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 also... no. Two person, two uh, person. Nah, 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 he doesn't nah, have nah. to be there. <laughs> Joe can go with that. <laughs> I'm imagining Joe being like, oh, yeah, I can go with them. And then you're like, no, 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 the no, the no, 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 you no, no, you're not going with them. You're coming with us. <laughs> cool. So then, yeah, you guys head back uh, into the mines as the sun is just starting to descend, you know, starting to set. So um, we're dropping gas, gas and like dropping gas. Well, I guess in this area with... with in this area without the moss, can we just use the torches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yep. stuck so the torch we're putting to the up, wall. Yeah, we're just tick, pick, putting up torches. I only have 16, but okay. we're putting up torches every so often to light up the area that we can. Are you using all 16 of them throughout that initial main tunnel? Main mine tunnel? Um... I, if that's what we need to light everything up, then yes, I guess. Uh, it depends. So when you look at the map, um, those squares are, that you can kind of see on it, those squares are like five feet each. Mm -hmm. um, and how five feet. much wow. so much could light up? Torches can illuminate. Let me open that up. Math. I know, right? Math. Items. Okay. Torches can illustrate... I I illustrate. Can illuminate... Illustrate. It, okay, a torch burns... I should say, a torch... It says here, a torch burns for one hour, providing bright light and a 20-foot radius. Damn, um, 20 feet. And then, in addition to that, so it's like 20 feet for bright light, but then dim light, like, beyond that initial radius, initial 20 feet of just dim light. Oh, kind of is like, dim light good enough? Dim light, you can like see silhouettes. At, you can't really see colors all that well in dim light. Um, mm -hmm. But you could at least like, you can see something moving. Like you have enough light to kind of see something in the distance. Just probably couldn't make it out super well in dim light. Hmm. I but wonder if it's enough. If something's there. Okay, I think that's probably okay then. So, so 40 feet technically, technically yeah. total? Total. So 40 feet. feet. That's a <laughs> radius of 40 feet. So, so oh, it's a radius of 40? Yeah, yeah, diameter of 80 feet then. Because that's 40 Damn. feet in either direction. Damn. Da that's a... Da wow, we have 16 torches. <laughs> uh, so it will cover like... 80 feet will be covered like... Uh, 16 squares. Damn. So, 16 one, squares. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I love how much thought you're putting into this. We probably only need like, like two or three, maybe three for like the the main, the big, the big main. Yeah. Maybe three of them. Three, no, two, two would be enough. Oh it's yeah, because the enough. outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's big enough. Two. For the okay. first entrance at the first fork. Frock. <laughs> I get I get you. Fork. <laughs> I get I gotcha. We don't have to go inside the dead end because we know Min Locks is not at the dead end. So we just put one. But they can go in and hide there. Yeah, but it won't go in because they already have a bright light blocking the outside. Oh, since there's none in there, they're not gonna go. Okay, gosh, I got you. So put I one got there, you. put one at the fork. So, uh, go, so we had used three. So at mm -hmm. the second fork, uh, where there are a lot of stones there, and mm -hmm. a lot, uh, the fork, we put another one there. Mm -hmm. But at the third fork we gone in, we don't put it there. But the fourth fork, we put one there. Maybe on the map, do you want to mark where you're putting them? Maybe. <laughs> that would probably be easier for Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> so she can figure out like where you're putting them. Okay. That would probably be better. Because I, I think I know what you're saying, but we might forget where we ended up putting them. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Thank you. Technically, as we're doing this right now, um, we're gonna corner them to like one corner right now. <laughs> yeah. Because. All right, we're probably gonna confront them at the end. <laughs> And they'll have nowhere to run. <laughs> and then we can defeat them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like so impressed with your guys' level of, of thought and, and planning for this. Because we're using math to figure out where to Literally. put torches. <laughs> Maybe kind of like this? The red dots are the torch. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Only you... half, baby. Only <laughs> half. You still got half left. And we have also gasoline and also... <laughs> <laughs> and oil. You have oil and a bomb. Mm-hmm. Because uh, we have okay. no idea the rest of the map like yeah we should bottom. probably explore the rest of it yeah to put more torch okay um so then what would you like to do first where where are we right now we are <laughs> what's the last you, one you tell me about where you want to be like where's the last torch that you you have where is it that you would like to go I think it's better if we uh, go our last stop at the middle torch of the after the second That's... fort, our our third fort, that that place. Okay, I'll circle it off. <laughs> <laughs> this side. I was like, I was like, which one? I think I know which one you're talking about. It's like the middle of like. You know that this middle part looks like a six pack. <laughs> like, yeah, the middle of like the, the sternum kind of of the tunnels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I get you. I get you. I think that that's what they mean, but let's okay. see if that's actually what they meant. <laughs> so, Cho, you are you you mean to go straight south? You say? Uh, yeah, south. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you want? Are you going there now, or is that the place you say you you want to wait on? That's the place you want to go last. Yeah. Okay. So that is, is that where we are right now, or are we at a different one? No, I think we, that's where we are. Oh, that's where we are. Okay. Okay. Confusion. <laughs> Confusion. All right. So All right. you wanted to go south from there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay let's go. Cool. We're holding um, our torches. This area that you guys are walking into, the tunnel, as you can kind of tell even from the map, is just a little bit wider. Um. Are you guys walking with torches? Kind of tell me how you guys are. Uh, I'm uh, walking, walking with torches. Safi is walking with torches because uh, we are walking. preparing to put the torches down. Okay. Um. So as you guys are walking, um, for me, uh -oh. I'm gonna have. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm gonna have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have everybody do a uh, wisdom saving throw. Uh -oh. Not this again. <laughs> Not this again. Hiya. <gasps> oh, nice. Damn. Damn. Oh. Joe got a nat 20. Who is, who is these two rolls for? Uh oh. No! Oh no! no! <laughs> On brand! <laughs> oh man! Okay, okay, okay. Um, so. As you guys are walking, uh, Namiya, you in your head, which maybe unusual maybe not unusual for you maybe it's been a while since Namiya has felt this but you all of a sudden get the feeling that um it's it's been a long time since 
the curse that you particularly have has acted up. Um, but you feel like it's acting up now and you know in an instant that I'm going to say his name wrong. I'm going to say his name wrong. But you know that, is it Belfane? Am I saying Belfane right? Belfine, Belfane. Okay. You know that Bel. You know in your in your bones that Belfane is in danger. The hell is a Belfine? Oh. What? What? What is this Nimia lore? I have not known. <laughs> Nimia lore. Nimia lore. Nimia lore. <laughs> Mia's under a curse? Ooh. Hmm, yeah. yeah. Uh, so... Vina, to answer this question, I'm gonna have you make a flat, just intelligence check. Can we help her? I have a guidance. I mean, you would have to know that she's doing this. Oh. Vina, oh. <laughs> Vina. I think he for the most me. part... I don't know what Namiya has told you or, or what she's experiencing yet. But she may just be thinking about this. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, so, Vina, as far as you know, as far as Namiya knows, Belfane is somewhere in these tunnels, and he is in danger right this second. Oh, and you need to find him. Oh man. <laughs> oh, at least uh, she will know like where Mr. Minlock is, I guess. We can hold Yeah, hey, I guess her. she'll lead us. I yeah, guess she'll can, lead us to Minlock. Her. We can hold on to Vina. <laughs> I'm grabbing Vina. Yeah, d does she, do you start running off? Or yeah, towards the Namiya direction? Do? Yeah, what do you do? She kind of turns to you guys like, so uh, it's hard, kind of hard to explain, but I'm pretty sure somebody I know is in these tunnels somewhere and I'm in big trouble. I need to find him like right now, though. Can, can you come with if you want? The faster I find him, the better. Can we like convince that it might be the Minlock's doing? I can, can we, can we persuade, persuade Mina? That uh, yeah, you can try and persuade her. You can roll for, um, for persuasion. Uh, I'm going to make it kind of an odd contested roll, though. Um, so whoever wants to roll persuasion can try to roll persuasion to try and persuade Vina. Um, I will say oh, Vina probably needs to make a contested, like, um, insight roll just to see um, how ah. well these um, meme locks are, like affecting you and your your assessment of what's going on. Um, but I will say, uh, you, Vina, need to roll with, uh, this is, it's, it's gonna seem backwards, but that's so we can get a accurate, as, or as accurate as possible roll. Roll with advantage, because if you roll higher, it's gonna seem weird, but if you roll higher, then technically like you win the contest and you don't believe them. Uh, I'll put Ooh. guidance Ooh, on don't. Vicky. I'll put guidance on Vicky. No, you can't do it afterward. Can I can. <gasps> Wait. What? Oh, she, she, she failed. She anyway. lost anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, Vicky, <laughs> what do you say? You're the one that rolled high enough. Vicky rolled high enough to, to oh, persuade her. What do you say? What do I say? Welcome back, Maxi, by Max. the way. Max. Uh, hi, Max. Um, hi. Oh, wait, so, I'll just reread. I'll just reread. <laughs> oh, we didn't write everything down, but okay. We didn't write everything down. Vicky can I also say? Vicky can also tell you what just happened. <laughs> Vicky's our good recap ex expert here. <laughs> right. So we decided that we needed more materials, so we left the cave for a hot second. Um, mm -hmm. I went to go to the town and bought some torches and some gasoline and some, a bomb, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you find a bomb? At the store. <laughs> they have bombs at the store. 
You didn't remember? <laughs> you didn't get it at the store. Wink, wink. What? No, Wait, because I got it at the store, but not at the store. <laughs> well, there were other stores there. They, the potion seller isn't the only seller at the, at the plaza. <laughs> <laughs> you could have thrown the potion seller's potions to the... The potion seller. Which is seller's his strongest potions. So. <laughs> <laughs> but what if the potion seller sold us his bombs? <laughs> it wasn't the potion seller who sold us his bombs. It was a very nice... Wait, I can't say this. I We had our sources. Blank, <laughs> blank. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. They just okay. quote unquote found the bomb. Yeah, we stumbled upon. upon. Yeah. <laughs> and then we oh, went to talk. <laughs> anyway, then we went to go talk to the elder and ask him if he knew anything about the Melox, and he kind of sort of did, but also was kind of sort of useless. So we told him to ask, you know, everybody in the town to go and pray there tonight and to hopefully if there's no fear in the town, maybe then that will, like, um, make the Melux want to leave because they are attracted to fear or some shit. So, <laughs> in the meantime, Clara was praying to Athena, and Athena reminded Cho that she has plenty of things that she can do. <laughs> she forgot the skills that I she I didn't had. forget. I don't know. <laughs> she Did you write down? Did you... Did you write down channel divinity on your sheet? Which sheet? Your, your character sheet. Huh? Oh. Ch Chow? I only wrote them like oh. the war domain. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> this is Max why. apparently like um Chow could like summon divinity this whole time or something. <laughs> Yeah, like Cho has. So I will let you know right now, Cho, what that means for you. Because okay. channel divinity takes shape depending on which domain that you you have that you're a cleric of. Okay. So, as the cleric, as a cleric in the domain of war, um, your channel divinity is called, if I remember right, it's something called like guided strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm um, hoping it's called guided strike. Yes. Okay. Great. Well, you wrote so, it yeah, down. Guided strike. You wrote it down. <laughs> yeah. Write it down right now that you have guided strike and that you can use it. There's a certain number of uses that you have for it. You can't use it like it, you don't have infinite number of uses for it. Um, but you can uh, use it. I think like a, at least. Let me. Well, actually, let me just open it up right now and figure out the specific number of uses. Ah, holy music. Holy music. <laughs> the choir. Um, Channel Divinity. I have no idea about this. <laughs> I can't believe that you had no use. Oh, okay. That's so funny. So you can only use it once per long rest. Once so it'd be like in, rest. yeah. So you would have to like sleep before you could do it again. It okay. probably just takes a lot out of you. Um, but so for the war domain, guided strike is your channel divinity. Okay. You can use your channel divinity to strike with supernatural accuracy. When you make an attack roll, you can use your channel divinity to gain a plus 10 bonus to the roll. God damn. You, you, you can Ch make Ch this. Shakes you. Oh. Shakes you by the shoulders. <laughs> Cho. <laughs> you can what choose to use this. You can choose oh. to use this after you've rolled even. So there's some things like guidance that you can't, you have to decide ahead of time. But with guided strike, you can decide after you've rolled, yes, I would like to channel divinity in order to bump it up that 10. Oh my god. Are you that like accuracy are... are you serious? No, attack is accuracy oh. That's for like when you make an attack roll. So like let's say you're trying to attack one of these mean locks. If we got into the fight, the battle, and you are trying to attack the mean lock, you roll for your attack roll, your D20 to see if you hit, and you get like a seven or whatever, and you're like, you you know that's not gonna hit. And you're like, I would like to channel divinity now. I want to call upon Athena 
that plus 10 bonus bumps that up to 17, which most likely would hit. And I can only use one time. One time per long rest. Per long rest. Okay. So it would have to be like in a moment where you're like, I really need this to hit. Oh, I, I, need I to can't not use miss. it. Even if we are in the mine, boy. <laughs> in our you can use it in the mine. In I'm, our previous session, I, I can't even use it, okay? Okay? Oh, <laughs> You know what? Let's. It, what, it, yeah. Did we blow it up yet? Are we blowing it up? We're we not gonna a... blow it up unless we have to. <laughs> okay, okay. Um. Uh, uh, what, what else happened other than Cho's magnificent divinity oh, right. power that she does not know of? <laughs> Wait, then we started going back into the mine and lighting it all up, and then we rolled a wisdom saving throw, and Vina got a nat one, and oh. um, now she thinks that someone she knows is in these mines, and I just rolled a persuasion roll. To try and, and convince her. To convince her yeah, yeah. that knock. they're not here. Knock. And I'm like... So, yes. So, kind of piggybacking off of that for you, <laughs> Vina. Um, you, like, what, what Venus is saying to you makes sense. You're like, yeah, of course, duh. It should, it's probably the mean locks that are doing this, right? That's... It's it's it would be weird. Yeah, your, your buddy to, like ain't here though. <laughs> it'd be weird for him to suddenly be here. Yeah. So like, what saying makes what's what Vicky's saying or Venus is saying makes logical sense. You know it makes logical sense. You're able to understand that. Um, that does not change the fact that you still feel at this present moment like he is in danger. Like that connection that you have is definitely like there's like a string that's being tugged on it right you feel like you're being pulled towards that even though you logically know that doesn't make sense for him to be here you're still experiencing that feeling nice we have a guide now now we have a like <laughs> basically like someone to sniff out where the heavy look is <laughs> 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 <Talk. laughs> <laughs> hey, if the mean light tries to attack Vina, then Vina just has thorns. The ability to That's basically the, uh, the, the, the satan, the, satan the satanic energy or whatever it is. <laughs> the eldritch energy. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> All right. So okay, okay, I guess okay. we can keep lighting up on the way and try to go towards where. Vina is telling us. Yeah. So the hell is. You, if you want me to kind of tell you where it is that Vina is being pulled in. Um. You feel like you are being pulled towards. Let me get the exact. Make sure I'm pulling you in the right direction. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> You are being pulled into, there's that tunnel that is to the left. Um, so what you guys, if you guys are in that circle in the center that Cho has very kindly circled for you, um, you are definitely being pulled to the left. Your to the left, to the left. To the left. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you own in the box to the left. All right, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Well, wait. Left as in we face south. You know, that was all left as, as in. Oh, wait, that's way. so true. So, yeah, that's what it, I was okay, which cardinal, left? cardinal directions, looking at the map, north, south, east, west, you know, looking at those directions at the map. Yeah. West. Okay. So, gotcha. yeah, not, I, I not, think, way, I think not the I way know. your characters are facing, but the left from us as we look at the map. Okay. Okay. We're basically going in this little loop-de-loop -loop area. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a loop-de-loop, -loop, and there's there's that, like, extending part south. Okay. And I want we're to going there. the torch at the fork. Yeah, that weird three-way. Uh, what is it? What does it feel like we're playing Minecraft? 
We are kind of <laughs> yeah, playing we Minecraft are. a little bit. We are, we are playing. I feel like we are. We are playing. We Minecraft. are. We are kind of are playing Minecraft. <laughs> Love this for you guys. <laughs> you just put down torches like every few every few feet, <laughs> so that an exploding zombie won't come out. Yep, exactly. <laughs> the creeper. So you guys head more towards uh, the left following where that, you know, beyond the fork, where it starts to become one tunnel. Um, it goes on for a little while longer um, until it reaches a larger um, expanse, kind of a larger chamber. Um, the thick velvety black moss covers every surface of this eight foot high chamber. Um, Set into the far wall is a deep alcove. Oh, I don't like that. Um. Yeah. What would you What would you guys like to do when you When you enter, you are just walking to this very tall, like kind of it looks like a room in the cave. Um, that's all again. Once again, covered by uh, black moss. We have a total of 16. I think we've used 9 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, we have used 9. We have 7 left. Put the torch down. Put the torch down, baby. Okay. Should we just look around and see if we can find it? For sure. And Roll how do we. Is that a perception check? Or is that investigation? I would do yeah. roll perception for this oh. one. Oh. Perceive, perceive. Trying to take notice perceive. of your surroundings. And then tell me, like... Uh -oh. Channel Apollo Justice. Uh, uh, uh. Excellent. Yeah. guidance to Mac. Why, why me? I don't know. Because you're the last <laughs> one. Oh, there's still Bean. Nah. <laughs> I put a 1d4. Nah. Uh, wait, wait, plus three, plus three. Oh. oh plus put the one D4. Yeah, yeah, put the one D4. That's plus so, six. Oh, yeah, yeah, 17. Yeah, nat 20. Nat 20. I love how Vina, Vina <laughs> has gotten uh, a nat one and a nat 20 now. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so <clears throat> let me paint this picture for you. So, you guys, you know, it's, it's, it only rolled ones and twenties. Like, literally, it's been, like, either extreme tonight for you. <laughs> um, as you guys enter this cave, uh, this, this, you know, ca cavernous kind of room, eight feet high. Um, you guys, you know, you're, you're trying to take super careful notice of every single shadow, right? Because these mean locks could be anywhere in here. And if this is where, you know, Namiya was leading you guys, this is, there's probably a creature here. So you said you set down a, a torch, right, Cho? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I imagine you setting it, in, like, in the center of the room. The light yep. kind of illuminates this space. Yep, yep. Um, the darkest part of this room is definitely that alcove that's in the back. That's, that's against the far wall. Um, it's like alcove a little, um... I don't know how to describe it. It's like a little like like part that is deeper than the rest. You know, like the wall goes in for a bit. Um, it's like a little nook. Oh. I, I guess it's kind of that you could describe it best. Not not entirely accurate, but if you want to think of it that way, like it's a part that's deeper in the wall than the rest. Um, so it's like a li little. It's not like the wall is smooth and flat. It, there's a part that juts in. Um, Chrissy's English but, teacher skills. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are, you know, you, that that part is still very shadowy. Um, and so as you guys are kind of spreading out to explore, you know, keep your eyes peeled for anything that you see. Um, you know, Cho has set down the tor torch. Clara starts to, you know, step forward a little bit. Maybe, Namiya, it's because you are so on edge because you feel like it's pulling you directly here. You know, that 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 connection that you have is being pulled right here, like the danger is here. 
there's somebody you have to help here. Da 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 da. Maybe because of all these feelings, that's why you're you're in like such a tense state that of course you notice this. Um, and I'll leave it to you to say, you know, what you want to say, do what you want to do um, with this information. But you notice, Nemia, like you, of course, you know that your guys aren't alone here. You know, there's mean locks somewhere in this room. But you also take notice of something else, Nemia. Um, you notice that that back kind of alcove area um the moss there you can see it move in that back oh. alcove the moss you can the see moss the alive. moss moving and writhing don't eat the moss <laughs> don't eat the moss um and if you would like to make some sort of like <laughs> definitely point the moss out to everybody if you would like to make a like nature check to see if you can figure out what it is, any more information that you might know about it, and what you're seeing, like make sense of it, you definitely can. Uh, put guidance if uh, we need to check. Slap a guidance. Slap a guidance. Slap a guidance. <laughs> Slap a guidance. Slap a guidance. On you. <laughs> Ocean Sella. Ocean Ocean Sella. Ocean Sella. I need only your finest guidances. <laughs> Guidance yes, is an yes. extra 1d4, yes. yes. To an ability check. We need that. We need that. <laughs> we need your finest so, guidance. 8 plus 3 would be 11. Yeah, not bad. Um, yeah. yeah, not a lot. You are not sure what you're seeing. Like you, you are not sure if there's like magic behind this or what. But you get the idea. I mean, this is probably obvious to you. <laughs> but you know that this moss is probably not safe to approach. Um, that it could be potentially dangerous. Is the, the moss we're standing on alive? Well, it is. No, I, I'll, I'll be quiet. Probably, <laughs> right? What if I, what if I kick it? No, 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 no. Hey! Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Do you want to go, <laughs> do you want to go kick no. it? No, 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 no. Says you who poured honey on a skeleton. <laughs> that I is am not dangerous. Maybe if you two were alone, this would have happened. But while the rest of us are here, we're not letting you do that. Can we? Can we roll nature checks too? Not that. Yeah, for um, sure. You can roll nature checks. Come on, nature. Ranger Vicky. Come on, Ranger Vicky. What is it? I don't even know if I have a modifier. I don't. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> Max did okay. well. Max did great. So, Max, um, you look at this moss. You know that moss usually isn't alive like this or doesn't move like that. Um, so, as soon as Nemia points it out to you, you examine it a little bit, being careful to not go and kick it, even though that might have been your instinct. Um, well, <laughs> I mean, you could still go and kick it. No, 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 no. I'm gonna I, grab I don't it. I'm just gonna kick it. Oh shit! <laughs> she's gonna attack me. You know, you, you get the feeling that the reason that this is going to be that this thing is kind of dangerous um, is that, like, you kind of it looks like there's it's not like when you get a closer look at it. It's not just moss that's back there. You can kind of see what looks like, um, this is gonna be a really weird way to describe it. <laughs> Forgive me. But you can kind of see what looks like maybe black tentacles that are like in the, the moss. No. Kind of waiting Ew. for somebody to approach to grab Ew. you. Oh no. A tentacle is poking out of the ground. It's not minlocks anymore. <laughs> Give it a high five. <laughs> A bit of high five. No. Don't do that. <laughs> a bit of Mori. No. Oh. Is that something you can do in a Mori? No. So it's a joke I make all the time because they just stick out of the ground, you know? Oh, I see. I see. Is that is that not what you were referencing? Yeah, I was referencing oh, the ones okay. from Mori. <laughs> yeah. 
Um. So, what should we do about that? It doesn't look should like we attack it? locks anymore, does it? Yeah, that's not even a mean lock. What if we use magic to like give a little tapa tapa? A tapa tapa. My a magic what? is a what now? A tap, a little a what? slap, a little. Just magic to give a little. Well, I have wood radiance. Little, you know. <laughs> tapa tapa. <laughs> Tap, tap. Wakey, wakey, <laughs> eggs and bakey. I, I have word of radiance. I can do that. All okay, right. Okay. Give the divine magic. Oh yeah, I know doing divine magic. I have no idea what that is. Uh, word of radiance. Is that a level Radiant one magic? spell or is that a? It's a cantrip. Okay. Um. Yay, cantrip spell. Is that an attack spell? It's um, an attack spell. Okay, so do you have to roll for attack, or do I have to make a uh, let me, I, I'm opening up. Well, give me a second, that's okay. buffering. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be like me, you gotta open up the spells before you say them, Cho. Uh -huh. <laughs> Max has you it gotta all. Think, you gotta yeah. think, you <laughs> gotta think. Up, it's up. <laughs> have to be within five feet, ah, that's probably true. Oh, you gotta get close to it. Oh, man. You gotta get close. Well, oh, do you get close to the, to the tentacles? The tentacles are five feet enough to bring you in. You see, we didn't range though. Uh, how, what oh, level is your Eldritch Blast? Within range. Oh, see, but the range is the range is five. Oh, it's feet. a cantrip. Yeah, uh, go, go, go. Wait a second. Wait a second, Vina. Are you trying to tell me that your strongest attack has been a cantrip all this goddamn time? <laughs> Damn it, Vina! Oh Damn it, Vina! Use it! Use it! Use it! Oh my god, her satanic energy is so strong. She can toss the She's strongest so attack. She's so strong. She's so strong. Are you wanting to throw an Eldritch Blast at it? But wait, what if it's evil just like Vina? <laughs> uh, okay. I have, I'm a healer. I'm a healer, don't worry. Go ahead and make your attack roll then. That's right. You have to make an attack roll, right? Or do I have to make a saving throw? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. Let's go! Go, Vina, go! Get that go, 20. Go, go. Get that sexy 20. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! I'll step at guidance. You go, go, Power Ranger! Oh, it's good! Whoa. It's good! Okay, it's good. yeah! It's good. Everything's good. You, uh... You, uh, like... Throw out your hands for this this Eldritch Blast, um, and launch it like perfectly into the alcove on those like black tentacles in order to see if you can get rid of them. You can harm them, um, and like it's a beautiful like cast of magic and this like unearthly red sparkling magic. And um, as soon as it hits the wall and it hits the tentacles, um, that magic like crashes into the wall, dissipates, and you can actually still see the tentacles there unharmed. Oh. oh man. Does it need radiant Can damage? they talk? Can they talk? <laughs> do they speak? Do they speak hi, awkward? Because I can speak awkward. What's blub, up? Blub, blub. What's up? Blub, blub, hi, blub, 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 blub. <laughs> Blub Blub, welcome to our blub, Black blub, Tentacle blub. ASMR. The fuck? Blub Blub Blub? Ur oh Ursula? Ursula? Ur Ursula? <laughs> Ursula, is that you? Blub Blub Blub? Can we talk to it? Unfortunate souls. Can uh, can you can try talking to it. What would you like to say to it? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> it, do it does not answer. Where oh. are you? <laughs> Damn it. Mm. It is not with... Uh, you guys are doing this. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> um not the rolls. <laughs> not the, not the rolling. <laughs> what if it grabs us one by the leg but we're not noticing? No like, cut that tentacle. No. <laughs> I'm making the sashimi little 
The Shibi. Yeah, I'll make you into yaki. I'll make you into calamari. <laughs> yeah, the rolls. Woo! Oh, so, uh, yeah. you are you know all of your attention is focused on this alcove with the you know strange magical black tentacles in there. Um, and you hear at the back of your party, Jove yelps, um, Jove. scurries away, Jove? you know, and or scurries closer towards where you guys are. And uh, he turns around yelling and pointing uh, about something that he swore like was, was just behind him. But we put oh. torch oh. behind us. No, we put the torch in the middle of the, the room. Yeah, we put the middle one, but we also put the put one behind us. There might be other way, another way to get into here, though. There True. is another entrance okay. to this room. <laughs> <laughs> is that directed at me? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> The timing and like the oh my god the delivery of that that was, that was so funny that was the most vehement <laughs> fuck you that Cho has ever given me <laughs> that is so funny <laughs> oh my okay. god oh my god my side hurts that's hilarious <laughs> here I'll give you a picture of the of this this kind of this chamber oh god <laughs> <laughs> Cho, Cho is just how dare you ruin my plans? <laughs> yeah. I had a plan. You ruined it. Cho, apologize to your teacher. Apologize. Sorry. You <laughs> apologize. That was so funny. Okay. Oh so wait, this... wait, hold, wait. Didn't we leave Max at the end outside of the cave? Actually. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Boshi <laughs> and uh, that's true. Boshi and huh? Wait, we forgot at the about mouth of the that. cave. Huh. Oh, she Wait, walks. So she walks to back to us. Count? She walks back to us. Leave Valor alone. <laughs> teleported. Leave Valor <laughs> alone. She teleported. I teleported. <laughs> My nature roll was I totally anymore. forgot about that. Well, that's yeah. All right. Slight discrepancy. Plot holes. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that. any. Yeah, I, I follow. I yeah, handle yeah. and Gretel. I handle and Gretel your uh, torches. I follow you with. That's true, I guess. All right. And, and you I'll leave Valor. Did, I'll, you, I'll, I'll. did you leave Valor out there, or is she with you guys? She's probably with me. I probably tracked her. With me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we probably just figured with all the um, torches we put up, they wouldn't want to. They wouldn't try to get out. I guess. Yeah. So okay. there's another entrance. Yeah. Of course there is. That so, another fuck that, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what is it that um got Jove a little bit? What was it? Jove isn't sure because it was ah. behind him. So he didn't ah. really see it. But he could tell that like, something had tried. Like he could, you know, like, 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 Venus kind of probably felt when running and narrowly escaping like Ooh. a swipe of those claws. Ooh. Joe could feel something definitely try to get him. Did not. Did and it, he's like, did it cut off his hat? <laughs> oh no. Is that why he has a cut in the front of his hat? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Joe has one cut in Sure. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what it was. That's the lore. <laughs> He has floor. <laughs> the reason why his hat is a little bit has one cut at the front. <laughs> we <all> got him. <laughs> all right, I guess we better go. Maybe we should leave the tentacles behind. We have a more pressing matter. <laughs> I wonder what those tentacles are. We have no idea. We can always come back some other day. <laughs> That's true. Um, Unless I, I can try to shoot an arrow at it, I guess, real quick. Yeah, shoot an arrow at it. Uh, <laughs> Magic doesn't Calamari. work. So physical. Well, that probably didn't really hit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just kind of pinged off into the darkness. <laughs> All right, I don't know if we can really handle that thing right now. So maybe we that's like a torch in the middle, so no mean locks is coming in here. Okay. So we went to the another side of the road, the, the another entrance. 
Yeah, yeah the, the one the that's way. the south. You guys came in through the top tunnel. Yeah, yeah. The other entrance to this room is the bottom because it kind of comes right. to you. Let's go that way. Okay. I'm kind of incursed right now. It's like kind of incursed. There's kids. Absolutely. <laughs> There's children. Yeah, think of the children. Think of the children. Shaking face. <laughs> I did, and that was something. I have to mark that, that on my so calendar. That was so funny. <laughs> okay. Just the next year, because he comes back and just goes, uh, yesterday is the day Cho cursed at me. It's the anniversary of the oh, fuck you. Of the, of the fuck you. <laughs> okay, so this tunnel definitely has a few that branch off from it. There's like an intersection here. Oh, boy. Um, that kind of forms an X shape. Um, oh no. One of these tunnels. Oh, yeah. Let me see. I'm double checking your map to see if you your visibility. Okay. So um yeah, there's kind of an X shape in the tunnels that comes here as you exit that bottom tunnel out of the room. It's loading. But I'm it's sending the picture. There we go. So there's an X shape here. There's one that goes forward, and then there's the left, and then the right. That branch is off at the bottom. Where are we? <laughs> you guys are coming in from that bottom oh, uh, oh. left part. Oh, bottom left part. Uh, so, mm -hmm. so I guess we ahead. leave a torch here. Yeah, we leave a torch here uh, in the middle okay. of it. Okay. So we have. Uh, uh, I think that that's our five. yeah. I think that that's our eleventh one. We have five left. Is that it? We have five left. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So do these, these torches burn forever? No, only for they an burn hour. For an hour. Oh, okay. So we gotta that's get a move on. Right. Clocks are so, ticking. Run, guys. I guess uh, to the top, it will be back to our main road. Yeah, probably back to our old torch. Yep. Yep. So, I guess we could go down. Okay. Completely down? Yep. Cool. Um, you guys head off in this direction. Um, I should point out um, that as you guys are walking, um, Nemea, the pulling feeling that you have changes again. Um, it was it was originating from that room that you guys went into with the alcove. Um, now you feel like this is pulling you. Like as you guys are going down this 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 pathway, you once again feel like it's pulling you kind of towards that left direction. Um, as you guys especially come upon this tea, not like a cup of tea, but the hallway the hall forms a tea. Um, Tea? So that you can decide. Like an upside down tea. I thought you were talking about this. I know, I knew that. And I was like, not a glass, not a cup of tea, not a glass of tea. <laughs> okay, so we Mom, put the torch okay. there. Okay, now we have four left, I think. Four left. And Mia is being pulled towards the, uh, the left. Let's go left. Let's then. go. To the left, to the left. To the left. Everything you own is a box. And a break. Box to the left. Yeah. Um, so to the left. Uh this see beyond me. This dead oh my end God. cavern opens wide. This is as far this is the largest room you've seen so far. I'm uh, crazy um, telling you this is a boss room. Why? <laughs> oh, why? We found it. We found the bathroom, guys. The lingering dampness of the tunnels is pronounced in here. Moisture leaches through the moss ceiling above, forming fat droplets that fall into pools of dark water around dark the chamber. Dark water? Shit. Oh, ew. A sharp scent of minerals fills the air and mixes with that earthly smell of the moss. The sound of dripping doesn't echo, of course, because of the moss, but um, it's because it's imme immediately dulled by the moss-carpeted surfaces. 
So let me get a picture of this room so you can kind of see the pools of, of dark a water picture. that are in this room. Can we investigate the water? Oh, for can sure. Can Slash swim in the water? No. <laughs> do you want him to swim in the water or do you want to investigate the water? I want him to like, uh, check the water. Agua. Agua. So, Agua. Gleda, he, you know, he, he, he obeys you. He steps into that first one there. Um, that first, like, pool, he steps in, like, and it only comes up to, like, his mid, like, it's, it's, I say only, only comes up to, like, his mid kind of thigh. It's only about, like, two feet deep. Oh. Um. Uh. And so he, oh, like, kind of waddles around in it. Best. He seems content, though. It's water, and he's kind of froggish. <laughs> he likes it. Oh. He's, he's, he's having a good time in there. there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can Look I your best life, uh, sled, like, just normal water or something? Um, he looks at the water and to kind of illustrate to you, because he can't really talk, <laughs> but to kind of illustrate to you what his observations are, um, he like purposefully sticks his hand in and like kind of splashes the pool water around. Um, like this dark, water is very dark. You can't see to the bottom. It doesn't have any like translucency to it. Um, it's kind of like, just like inky. inky. Um, so like at your, the light of your torches, for instance, like that fire, yeah. um, it reflects off the water kind of like it's a dark mirror. You can't see through it. Okay, we need, we don't need torch now. We use oil because it's torch. They might like put out the fire. If it's oil, they can't. Get what I mean? I see what you mean. We put on the oil and light it up. <laughs> okay, Our where are you time. To, So describe for me what what you are, where you are putting this oil, what you are doing with it. Not with the in the water, but on the okay. lane. Mm -hmm. Okay, the land. Yeah, and also we we will have to, like put the path that we can walk on, but not all of them. <laughs> okay. And uh, light the path up. Okay. Um, when you light this 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 path up, uh, and you know the oil starts sparking, um. You hear in the distance behind you, um, like in the through the tunnel that you guys didn't go down, like all of a sudden there's a whole bunch of like um, in the darkness, a whole bunch of scrabbling and like um, chittering sounds, like kind of insect like sounds um, as they're scurrying away. A foam all power. Oh, Huh. Hmm. So they're running away, right? Now that you are lighting that fire in, around those inky, the, those inky pools, they are moving away. Huh. So they are not here. Silence. You <laughs> <laughs> roll investigation. Yeah, for sure. Sure. Roll investigation. Investigation. Da da. Da, 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 da. <laughs> ah, not bad, not bad. I put the guidance not on bad. that. Again? <laughs> hey, hey, not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. I have a good hunch you have bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> you you guys investigate these, this, this, this gigantic... Uh. <laughs> Pool room. Uh, okay, uh, that's okay. That was D four. That wasn't your D twenty. <laughs> um, and you, uh, like all of you guys, kind of unanimously understand that uh, Vina does too. Uh, that yeah, these what whatever has been in here, whatever was lurking here, 
is trying to scrabble away as soon as you guys have lit up the place with light. Um, so they fled, and you could kind of hear them fleeing in the direction that you guys didn't go. Um, I will say, Vicky, uh, with that higher roll, you um, are observing more of these dark pools, um, and you <laughs> notice that maybe you shouldn't get too close to some of them. Um, oh, you shit. notice that there are, there is like a pool or two that even if um, you can't see to the bottom, part of the, the water doesn't look fully natural or water-like. It's probably um, something that's trying to look like water. What the oh, fuck? Oh shit. Claire, it's fine. just like get out of there. What, no. All right, so I guess we'll just uh, avoid going in the water, but kind of like light up this area with that oil. Yeah. Yep. All right. So. I'm so curious, the, but it's so dangerous as well. The last pool. <laughs> well, I don't think we should go there. That looks like a fucking trap. <laughs> I'm so That's curious. Totally a trap. That's, no, fight, <laughs> fight your curiosity, fight your curiosity. Me, Lina fighting with her, with her fear, me fighting with my curiosity. <laughs> so we saw strange tentacles and now we see something pretending to be water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, look at that. This here. place we, is we weird. We light here, we, we get it. Yeah, we, let's light up everywhere we can. Um, Guys, I have a solution for all of this. What if we all just move the village? <laughs> <laughs> what if we pick it up and put it somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> that will solve all our problems. <laughs> okay, oh my you know God. what? Like, I know that sounds impossible, but if we all work together... <laughs> Okay, yeah, okay, continue. <laughs> but Max, we idea. have so much history here. Ah, <laughs> uh, history doesn't matter if you want to be safe. Um, you can <laughs> find a new dream, as they say. <laughs> as, as they say, entangled. <laughs> entangled. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of fish in the sea. Or uh, <laughs> a lot of space in the, in the land. <laughs> Uh, either way, we, right. we, we we accept the quest. Let's just go on. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's leave this place. I don't think it's good to stay in this uh, yeah, place with strange waters. We are here to find mean looks. Yes, exactly. If it, do you think this cave is alive? M maybe. Is this such a second canto but rock, cave rock. version? <laughs> Casita, but the cave. I would like not to think about that. If this that's the truth, I will come to America and find Christy. <laughs> Forget Japan. Quick, quickly change the no, can <laughs> I'll come to America personally just to strangle Christy. So funny. Let's go up to Christy's face and actually say fuck you. Fuck you have you. to find me. You have to find me first. <laughs> Cho, hurry, there's still Azaya. You still have a second chance. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's, let's move on. Okay. Okay, so where would you like to go next? Uh, we, uh, Vina, Vina, ice cream. Where, where do you feel now? Where? <laughs> Give me a. Where do you feel? Okay, interestingly enough, um, once you heard them start scurrying away from you guys, uh, Nemia, the voice and the connection that you were feeling, like that present, like, he's in danger, he's in danger, he's in danger, that feeling dissipated. Ah. Uh, uh, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, it's a good but thing. Good Vina, it's but a good, good thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's how, they, probably, they probably went to the darkness that we didn't light up yet, so let's just yeah. keep going. We have, have five more torches. Guys, let's just invite the light the light more, invent the light bulb. It's so true. Oh. We have four more? What if we get, we four more. What if we get this oil? 
Uh, we bought we bought it from uh, we bought a it. reputable source. <laughs> okay. Potion seller's brother. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he doesn't have very strong oil or torches, but he has some. <laughs> Mm. Oh, Vina says wait. Vina says wait. V Vina, Vina, do you have something? Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. oh we have plenty of torches, guys. Yeah, plenty more torches. Don't we worry. We can, we can be great. Wait, what is like Lynn's backpack? Back, back, back. Let me see if she has any in her backpack. Uh nope. Oh wait, she had ten too. Oh oh I have ten too. What wait, the fuck? Y'all? Oh uh, wait. You guys wait. had so many and didn't tell me. <laughs> I, for I forgot I had the adventurer's backpack. I, yeah, I was gonna say I think it comes in your backpack. Man, it's it's so funny. Have candles. <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny. You gotta pray, Dude, you gotta pray, we have, you gotta stick the have candles. Plenty. We can we can go willy nilly with these torches. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll conserve them, but we can still we can use more than we thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's keep going. All right. Um. So at the T, are you guys continuing straight on then? Yep, yep. Cool. Um, as you guys walk, um, forward. Uh, you. I'm gonna have so you guys enter into like your the tunnel that goes forward um definitely opens up into this what's much larger than the pool room um it's a gigantic cavern in this case this stuff. um and i will say interestingly enough a new sense uh greet you here you guys could kind of like smell like minerals and stuff in the pools. <coughs> when you walk in here, uh, water, the water, musty water, funk water. of decaying fabric and old furs and the smell of rot lingering in the st stagnant air. Yeah. Um, thick pillars of moss covered stone support the 20 foot <laughs> high ceiling and waist high stone slabs dot the cavern. Um, I am going to give you a picture, and then I'm also going to ask for everybody to make perception checks. Bruh, the music timing. Perception. Yeah. Perceive. Cho, we're gonna slap guidances on each other. Yeah. How many? How many guidances oh my God. can you use? I think guidance pan -trip, is a pan -trip. trip. Oh God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, Cho. Oh no. Oh, no. oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> I mean, uh, a nat one's a nat one. I mean, isn't that a 1d4, so? No, no, Cho, when Cho wrote the d20, it was a oh. one. Magically. Oh, Cho. Oh no, Cho. <laughs> Cho. Oh no. Well, okay. If, if anything, uh, I, did, not, I did well enough. Protective. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make. Uh, so wait. So this will be okay. Vina, or not Vina, Vicky. <laughs> All these V's. <laughs> Vicky. Um, we're gonna make a contested roll really quickly. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna make a dexterity roll. I'm gonna uh -huh. have you the glaive, the glaive, make a dexterity roll as well. A regular um, plain one? The... You what? A, just a flat dexterity? Yeah, dex so you can add your, like, dex make a dexterity kind of like saving throw. You get to add your dexterity. Oh, the saving throw it. one. Okay. Well, yeah. Putting out guidance. <gasps> well, you can't put guidance for this one. Oh, um, God. Because it's a saving throw. Oh. Can I use a yeah. point of inspiration? I have a point of inspiration. If you, yeah, actually you can. <laughs> Yay, you can. let me use my point of inspiration. I think point of inspiration can be yeah, used for saving throws. Yeah, the inspiration from my speech to I you. I believe it can be used for saving throws. Yay. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah. Uh, point of inspiration. 
that's higher or lesser Ooh. than mine. My oh speech. My <laughs> oh my god. Clean, you know? Okay, we're gonna see. Oh no. <gasps> okay, that was so close. So, Vicky, you can decide what your character. Oh, okay. Okay, Vina. Okay, Vina. Um, okay. Um, you can decide what you want to do. I'll describe what's happening, and you can decide how you react then, because your character reacts in time. Um, but as you guys enter the this giant cavernous expanse that smells like awful um from the ceiling Shit. uh drops down right above cho uh what? one of these creatures that you have been trying to find all this time about um, cho no you can tell based on how high you rolled that it's not necessarily looking to attack Cho or Clara. It's trying to get the torch. It's trying oh. to cut it down. Put on uh -huh. the oil. They can't get the oil. Put on the oil. Yeah, I guess I'll put down the oil and light it up. Okay. So you put down the oil, light it up. The creature still lands, still snips that torch from um, Cho's hand. Uh, so Cho, you are without a torch right now. The lot, the oil lights up, um, and it's in that one kind of area, right? That five feet around you is where that oil, I imagine, is, is, cause you're not running around yet to spread it everywhere. It's okay, um, it's okay. But the light from the oil does illuminate that this part of the cavern where you guys are, which is close to that. And Southeast, um, taking a that south torch too. That southwest entrance is kind of where you guys are. Um, and that's where it is. As soon as the light, like, is lit and the creature, um, like, scurries away back into the darkness to, like, be safe in the darkness, um, you hear around you in this chamber, like, a whole sound of other creatures also chittering and snarling at you from the shadows. Oh my um, god. And I would like all of you guys to go ahead and roll initiative. Oh my oh, god. No. Vina by initiative. <laughs> oh no. Vina back initiative. <laughs> oh no. Um, we can also, after we've rolled initiative, if you would like, because of time, we can, I'll write down the order and we can start with the fight next time. Yeah, baby! Huh. I got that wood roll! It would be really great if we had our mice army, if you, Vicky had a rat army right now. That's so true. But we we have Safi and Balor, technically. Right, yeah. Safi oh, yeah. and Balor are with you. Um, I'll just have Joe kind of sit off to the sidelines. <laughs> okay, damn. So, Venus? Do they need to roll too? Yeah, um, um, I will roll for them. I'm gonna write down what you guys have so far, so I don't lose that. This is a boss room. I just realized when Chrissy sent this, I was like, this is a boss room. This is totally a boss room. So big. What are the squares? Oh, um, so the squares that you see are those. There are several, um, like, stone pillars that are about, like, waist high scattered throughout the room. Those are what the squares are. So they kind of serve like obstacles oh. if you want to use them somehow. Um, they are, that's what they're, they're they're just there for in the environment stone um, that to the roof mm -hmm. no so waist high I so they go about right. to your waist oh mm. oh boy oh boy this is like mm, what's the get genshin and butt <laughs> is it i've never played that game yeah, i've never played that game what is it oh like a bunch of Enemies surrounding you, and there's a ton of obstacles in the way, and I, I keep getting hit. Rolls. I keep sliding into the rock, and I can't get out. And then the <laughs> view changes, and I'm just there. <laughs> I think you're describing yourself in the future. <laughs> ah! Where's my. Oh, there it is. I am my own obstacle. <laughs> you are your own obstacle. That's okay, because I am get too, as school. we know. But Chrissy gets lost. I get lost oh God. all the time. We oh God! This. It'd be hilarious to watch Chrissy play Genshin Impact. Oh God! 
I would not have I any think idea what hilarious. I'm doing. You'd just laugh at me. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why it'd be fun for us. Okay, so... Just the map, the map says go right, Chrissy will go left. As I do! What? Okay, you laugh, but I want to make... Oh, damn, a one. Oh my god, you Oh, wow, wow. yeah. Valor got a one. Oh, boy. Valor. Oh, boy. Did she fall on her butt or something? Yeah. <laughs> it's no... She yelled on your and she, like, Sunday. fell on her butt. Turns out she's on super scared of spiders or, or, or insects, you know. Bug. Um, oh, same. This Valor, is for Safi. So... I can't believe Chrissy rolled a 1 and then rolled a 1 again. <laughs> I know, right? 18! Amazing. Yeah. Yep, 18, not too bad. Okay, and now... Uh, creature time. Uh-uh. Are you ready for this? Oh, how many? How many? How okay. many are there? You're gonna see how many times I roll. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay, you ready for this? Want... No, I'm not. This be the amount of people we have in this- No! What? Two. Oh shit. Three. Four. <laughs> Fifteen. Five. Oops, that I, I rolled that incorrectly. Six. That's a six. There you go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good thing we One bought a bomb. <laughs> Are you gonna <laughs> blow up the cave while we're in here? Worst worst case scenario could be a Indiana Jones type of situation. <laughs> what is that worst case scenario? Put the one in the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. <laughs> What's I I want this well, so we're 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 stopping today. Um so I probably can say this now. But yeah. it's really funny because I try to give a lot of opportunities. For like, if you guys wanted to pick them off one by one, you could. And then every time it didn't work out. Oh man, it's so funny. Oh, it's like, oh, like, oh, maybe, oh, maybe they'll kill one here, and then they don't have to worry about that later. No. No. We get all of no. them like Infinity Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly well, balanced. Well, I tried to fight one in the dark, but it didn't really work out that well. So. <laughs> Well, technically, they can't see in the dark. They have the upper advantage unless we toss torches everywhere. <laughs> toss That's the wall, true. Toss the torches. Wah! Party! Wah! Party! We're gonna take a mile on at once. <laughs> yep. So next time, Clara gets to go first. Woohoo! Woohoo! Clara, please make sure you have a move that can end like multiple. Yeah, minutes. yeah. <laughs> no, I, Make sure you know all big. of your possible moves. Uh, I, I <laughs> start off big. My first move to like spread the oil and torch everywhere. Uh, uh, Clara has a tinder box. Uh, yeah, and the, spread the oil, the oil, the torch everywhere. Make it like a chandelier or something. Oh my god. I'm gonna start singing what? chandelier I'm while I see it. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier, the chandelier from the chandelier. The chandelier. <laughs> All That's right. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Oh wait. What if we Peter Piper is? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> excuse Peter me? Piper, um, the pipe, the pipe Piper. <laughs> what if we just blow, like, get Joe to blow his kazoo and then they'll like follow him out in a straight line into the sun? That's so and funny. Just like demon slayer, they all evaporate in the sun. <laughs> Imagine, <laughs> that would be really funny. <laughs> um, would that work? Do they have ears, Chrissy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, think they're like vampires. They don't have ears. <laughs> If they don't like the sun, maybe they'll be greatly weakened. <laughs> Is it Who light knows? Not the sun, Max? Light. Mm, the sun is a ball of light. Yeah. What is that light? Well, we are going in are like almost, almost night. So, when we go on, probably there won't be any sun. Moon, though. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? Let's take him on. Are, are you sure you want to use your move like this when everyone else could use their moves to spread oil? Uh, what do you want me to do then? 
Yeah. Use your divine power multiple. or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> my divine power only like power up my accuracy. Uh, hmm. This is the chosen well, one of a thing. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, at least, at least we have a week to think it out. That's yep. true. That's to, true. To strategize your fight, and the next session will probably be the battle. Why is there stone in here? Bina, do you Why have are there stones in here? Why are you giving that what kind of tone? Are you hinting something? Am I missing something? I'm just saying. Hmm. Do those, are those stones ex important? Are they important? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Chrissy. What? Are uh, those stone, regular stone, mm -hmm. or those kind of platinum? Um, You can investigate that next time. I'm closing my books. Ah. Uh, if it's platinum, this is like class. you can use the You what? If it's platinum, I think we can use it to like illuminate the room. Oh my god. P p platinum to illuminate? How? You wanna put it on fire? fire? Oh. Like I a disco ball. I don't know how much light that will be. Like a disco ball. <laughs> disco party. party in the mines. <laughs> That'd be really funny. <laughs> Friday night. Friday night. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. It's Friday night. It's Friday night, Like the night, Yakuza baby. meme. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's us in the mine. <laughs> it's Friday night. <laughs> in the mine. <laughs> That's ridiculously funny. <laughs> do, 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 Next time. <laughs> Tune in next time for Friday Night Disco. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to go to sleep, yep, I guess. Time to go to have sleep. A, have a nice day, guys. Right. Yeah, have a nice Later, day. Later, no to move. Max